2025 welcome back another year another repairs so let's start with this one this this is our first repair in the year 2025 we have an hp this is an hp elite book uh, hp elite book let me see the model hp elite book elite elite book 840g3 the laptop looks like this this laptop came in for repairs no power so without wasting time let's let's jump straight to our problem straight to our problem so here we have an issue the laptop is not turning on it's not doing anything this is just a dead laptop plug in the power supply it's taking 17 milliamps here we must have some charging light there's no charging light no anything uh, pressing the power on button no change of current this is just a dead laptop so what can be the problem with this repair what do you think is the problem huh um we don't know what is the problem but i believe this is some kind of motherboard problem but let's open and see what's going on inside this laptop all the screws are out so i'm sure the back cover is coming out That the laptop here we have DDR4 RAM. Uh, this lot we don't have anything. The motherboard looks good. So, what can be the issue with this motherboard? Let's try the basics. Let's disconnect the battery. Because I can't see the BIOS battery here. Okay. Let's press the power on button for a few seconds. Let's insert back the battery. And here I just see the light. Really? How we start the new year with a simple repair? I just see the light. And the laptop is on. So, this was just a frozen BIOS. Press enter. This is coming off and coming on, it's taking 800 milliamps. So that was the simple repair. And you know, when you are coming back from the holiday, you are lazy, you should not start with too much complicated jobs. Yeah, we, we took out the battery, so it's resetting the, the, the settings, it's reloading the settings. So it will restart several times until it it came on. So that's how we started our year 2025. That was the frozen BIOS. So if we have the HP Lite Book uh, 850 G3. That is not showing any charging light and it's dead. It's taking like dead current 17 milliamps. Uh, try to do the basics. And it's loading windows. And the laptop is on. The touchpad is working. Uh, the keyboard. The keyboard is responding. Everything is working on this laptop. 
So, I don't want to waste time with this repair. I don't want to waste time with this repair. Let's close the laptop. Let's close up this laptop. The repair was simple, just to reset the, the, the settings and we have a working laptop. All screws have been put together. Let's do the final test. Uh, plug in the charger. Power on. It's taking 500 milliamps and the laptop is coming on. Six hundred. Four hundred and eighty seven. Let's just wait. So after putting all these screws together, we still have a working laptop. Uh everything is working fine on this laptop. That has a frozen BIOS. So you know the story with the inbuilt, with the, all the laptops with inbuilt batteries. Sometimes the importance of doing basics uh, uh, can be helpful. Just to do the basics, you take out the BIOS battery, short pins on the BIOS battery, if you have the BIOS battery. If you don't have the BIOS battery, just check out the, my, the main battery. You keep on press the power on button to reset the, the motherboard uh, and then you start stop jumping uh, into checking difficult things so yeah the repair is done the laptop is working still on so like subscribe don't forget to turn on the notification bell for future updates uh, let me try to look for for, for a better job let me try to look for a better job where we have so many jobs here are waiting for repairs. See you on the next one. Bye.